Now to Florida and our beaches. This is video of what Neptune Beach looked like over the weekend. This is Saturday about 10 in the morning. Signs of social distancing taking place there, but images like you're about to see here over the weekend showing large crowds all packed together. Was this accurate? Was this some sort of misrepresentation? Well, for some perspective, we sent our Troy Kless to verify all of this. Friday, April 17th was the first time that Duval County beaches were back open in four weeks and around 6 p.m. that time there were a lot of people on the beach. Now, most people were following the guidelines in place outside of a few rule breakers. But not all pictures and videos shared from that day tell the whole story of what went down that day. Let's verify. A Getty photo shared by several outlets shows people walking around Jack's Beach on Friday, April 17th. Is the image real? Yes, but it does not show exactly how far apart most people are. Some people in focus could be six feet apart, others aren't. But out of focus in the distance, it's hard to tell how close or far apart everyone is. So some of those retrixies in Fox News interviewed Jack's Beach Mayor Charlie Latham on Monday. Part of their video is from a local news outlet sky camera and is accurate. But this video in that same segment is not from Friday the 17th. Mayor Latham tells First Coast News that he feels that most people on Friday were following the rules. And at this point, the beach opening is being evaluated on a day to day basis. You know, we haven't had any arrests. We had a couple when the beach was closed uh, because people were defiant about getting on the beach or getting in the. Uh, but uh, since it's been open, I think people are really trying hard to make sure that things stay uh, uh, open. Both Mayor Latham and Mayor Lenny Curry say they feel that most people that are out on the beaches have been following the guidelines put in place. But what the photos and videos show is a lot different than what the human eye sees, whether those images were shot with an iPhone or a professional camera. And it's important to know how these images and their use can tell a story. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side. Troy, thank you so much.